Hi everyone! In this video let's talk about using for each loop action in WorkFusion RP Express. With the help of for each loop you can program your bot to perform the same set of actions for all or several values stored in list or table variables. In our use case we will show how to use for each action with a list variable. We have an Excel file with some basic English words and phrases. Let's create a bot that will translate them into Spanish using Google Translate and then paste the translated phrases in another column in our spreadsheet. Let's create a new recording. First of all, our bot will open the spreadsheet and copy the English phrases to a list variable. To do it, add Open Spreadsheet Action and choose the path to our Excel file. Then we add get column action and set an index of the column we are going to extract text from. In our case it's column B. To save the result we need to create a list variable and select it in the drop down menu. Then, using for each loop action, the bot will copy each phrase from the list variable to Google Translate. Let's add for each action to the actions flow and select the variable with our English phrases. The variable element points to each value stored in the list. The first element in the column is the word English, which we don't need to translate. We need to start translation from the second element so we will use a filter. The loop will run from the second element to the last one in the list. Now let's open Google Translate using Open Website Action. Then using Web Element Action we will set element value in the input section. We will use XPath for that. To get the XPath you need to right click on the web element, inspect, then right click on the blue highlighted area, copy, copy XPath. Then paste it to the XPath of the element field. Then we will get the translated value, also using XPath. We will add another web element action, select get value mod, get XPath of the translated phrase, and paste it into the appropriate field. We create a string variable to save this value. And select it in the drop down menu. When we get the translation result we can open Excel and paste it there. In this case our bot will open and close the file for each element. But there is another way to do it. We can push all translated phrases to a list variable and then open the Excel file to paste all phrases at once. The second way is more efficient so we will go with it. We will use expression value action to push the phrases to a list. Let's create a list variable Spanish phrases and select it in the drop down menu. and select the variable translated as the value to append. That's it. Now we'll add actions to open the spreadsheet again and set an active cell to C1. Make sure that your file will be saved after the last action. Then using for each loop we will set each value from the variable Spanish phrases to the cell below. That's it. 
Let's play the recording. As you can see, all phrases have been successfully translated and pasted in the correct column. It was an example of how you can use for each loop with the list variable in your recordings. Hope that video was helpful for you. Please give us a thumbs up and feel free to leave your comments or questions below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. See you next time.